offensive rebounding really oh. play a part. Okay. That's, uh, I think they have a 24, 26 offensive rebounds. And, uh, normally we've been pretty good there, and that's really helped our defense tonight. We just didn't get it done. Oh, we the uh, we played more. A lot of this has been about the intensity of the team. What did you see in the spirit and the energy? I thought we played better and played pretty well hard and uh, played well for long stretches. It's just the second chance points just got us and uh, we couldn't finish off against a good team. They're good and uh, let's encourage them. I, I thought we played well and uh, we, if we keep this and keep going forward, we'll be okay. What was it down the stretch that did make it tough to finally come back after they did come back from a couple other deficits? Playing against a good team, and uh, we had some shots to look at. We had a turnover that cost us a little bit, but uh, normal things. Uh, at the end of the day, it's just uh, we didn't secure the ball a couple times, and uh, you can't give these guys 20 more shots at the basket than what we had. They did it on offensive rebounds. What was Derrick Rose able to do all night? Uh, you know, he's great. First of all, I don't take anything away from him, but you know, what is, I forget he's you know, 12 for 27. Or, you know, he's under 50 percent. If we can do that, that's pretty good. It's a team that shot around 43, 42 percent. So that's not that's good. That's about as good as you can do on Derrick Rose. So I thought Jeremy and uh, the team did a pretty good job on him for a great player. Carmelo specifically, how much was it the way they were defending him, taking him out of his game, or did you see any struggles otherwise? No, I thought, you know, I thought, again, you know, you could nitpick little things here and there. I just thought it was the offensive rebounds, the second chance points, all the loose balls and stuff that we didn't come up with. But you guys have a, a better, obviously, overall performance tonight, better than right. last week probably. They stuck them out of it with a loss. Do you worry about the impact on them? Well, you know, you talk about it now. We're eighth place. We're in a dogfight. Should you worry about it? No, you shouldn't. Uh, I think everybody understands the stakes, and uh, and they have to know that it's disappointing to lose one like this. But they have to know we played better. They have to know that Wednesday we start to you know try to keep eighth place or better. And uh, I, after an hour, you shake it off. You know, shake it off, and he's getting the one on Wednesday. Uh, you know, I give him a couple of aspirins. I don't know what do you do. Say, don't get frustrated. That's each player, individual player. But, you know, they got to dig deep. And that's, uh, I know we did it today. We didn't have, but there's nothing. There's no magic potion. Each player has to understand the position we're in. Each player has to step up and, and do the best he can do. And I, you know, I have faith they will do that. I thought Jeremy played well. A uh, couple turnovers here and there, but uh, overall good for a rookie point guard in a big situation like that. I thought he played well. Not more than normal here. I don't know. Yeah, that's good. Like it seemed like you rode your starters a little bit longer tonight, not so much on the bench. Was that just the way the game was going? I thought it was slipping away in the fourth quarter. And I came back from Ari and uh, Mello quicker than I normally would. Because uh, I felt like it was slipping away. And we were getting beat on the board, so I didn't want to go small. So they got no back out. It was just that. But it's nothing. All right, thanks, Coach. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, just right where you want.